I want to compare the new Patton 18 inch high velocity fan to the Ken Brown 20 inch high velocity fan. These are both recent purchases and I know that you can still get the Patton even today, uh, but I don't know if you can still get the five bladed Ken Brown or not. These do have some similarities and uh, one of those is they use clips to hold the grills together which I like a lot more than the tiny screws that they tend to use nowadays. The stands on both of these are nice and sturdy and they have rubber feet on them so it doesn't uh, walk all over the place and scrape anything. Both of these stands are very sturdy and I know you know one's a 20 inch and one's an 18 inch so it's not technically not a direct comparison but uh, they're pretty close. The Ken Brown has a ball bearing motor. Starts off on low, it has three speeds, and this one doesn't doesn't list the amperage, it just says 120 watts. And there's the model information. Like I said, ball bearing motor. This one has a three-prong plug on it with a replaceable fuse and it has a cord wrap. The Patton also has a cord wrap and it has a replaceable fuse but it's just a two prong plug. The motor on the Patton is a little smaller. This one is three speed as well. It also starts on low. And this one is rated at 1.25 amps. We'll be testing the uh, amp draw and wattage with the kilowatt meter while I'm running these. Now I was really impressed with this Patton when I got it. I think it was a huge upgrade from the one that I have over there that's from 2010. Oh, that's either from 2009 or 2010. It was really not very good. Uh, but this one feels a lot more sturdy. The grill doesn't flex as much. It's got the clips instead of the screws that the other one has. And uh, it's in balance. So, and it also moves a lot more air from the factory than that other one did over there because it has steeper pitch and it's quiet compared to that one. So I, I'm very happy with this, with the quality of this one. I don't know if I mentioned this here or not, but this is not a ball bearing motor like that one. It is just sleeve bearing. So this fan is pretty quiet. It's not, not uh, annoying at all when it runs. And then there's this one. Now when I got this, I got it because I thought it was kind of unique since it has five blades. And you don't really see very many five bladed high velocity fans. But the nice thing about this is it's actually pretty quiet. I thought this thing was going to be blaringly loud when I got it because of the thin blades and the fact that there's five of them. But no, it's not. It's uh, pretty quiet actually and it moves a lot of air. I'll have to, uh, well I'm obviously I'm going to be running both of them in this video, but I don't remember exactly which one is more powerful. I think the Patton might have the edge, but uh, we'll see. I'm going to start with the Ken Brown. Now one thing I just noticed is the rubber feet on the Patton seem to grip better than the ones on this. This slides around a lot easier than that one does. Alright, we're plugged in. Cords are the same length for both of them, but again, that one's just two prong. So, got it on amps. We will start up on low. Yeah, it's giving me a nice breeze back here. It's really not very loud at all. And we're pulling 0.88 amps on low, 98 watts. Here's our power factor. So really, I'm quite impressed with the power that thing has. I didn't think it was going to really move much air at all, but it actually moves a lot of air. And that's just on low, and it's not very loud. Let's go up to medium. It's 
it's definitely making a good breeze and it's really not all that loud. It does shake a little bit on medium, but that's pr pretty much the only speed that that's a problem. And it doesn't like walk all over the place or anything, so it's not a big deal. I'm gonna go up to high. Factors excellent on high speed. I mean, it's moving a lot of air. So yeah, this thing is quite powerful. And I definitely got a good one. You know, with a lot of these, you don't know if you're going to get a good one or one that has damage or what. You know, the quality control isn't always the greatest nowadays, but uh, this one pretty good. And we'll watch it coast down. Not bad. Let's see how it is, or what the amperage is coming up to high speed. Alright, let's move on to the patent. And I'll start on low with this one too. Pretty quiet on low. Obviously it's going to be a much different tone from the other one because this only has three blades, the other one has five blades. But it's got a nice sound to it. It's low speed. Great power factor. Just tilt it forward a little bit. I think the airflow on this one was a little more diffused. I feel like I was getting a stronger breeze from the Ken Brown fan back here. But I don't know. Let me try tilting it. Okay, I'm, much, I'm getting a much stronger breeze now that I tilted it properly. Still, that Ken Brown was pretty powerful. Um, I think they're pretty close, though. So, let's go up to medium. This one's pretty smooth, and here's our sound level from all the way back here. And high. Getting a good breeze over here now. Definitely more powerful than that one was from the factory. And no, I have not taken this motor apart yet to oil it, so that is the original lubrication. Seems pretty adequate still. Let's see what our amp draw is coming up to high speed with this one. Yeah, 
It is low again. Let me turn the Ken Brown on again, so I want to compare that sound. I think the Ken Brown is actually a little quieter. It definitely has a higher pitch noise to it because, you know, it has five blades. But it seems to be a little quieter to me. And, uh... This one uses, actually uses less power than that one does. Which is interesting. Especially considering this thing has a bigger motor. Yeah, I think, I think they're pretty close in terms of power. I, I really can't tell much of a difference. After doing a little bit of comparison, I think the Patton is a little more powerful on low speed, but the Ken Brown wins when it comes to the high speed comparison. So that's interesting, but they are both extremely close to each other. And now just for fun, I'm going to compare the 1994 Lakewood HV18. This is one of the USA made ones. It's got a 2.4 amp Macmillan PSC motor and very steeply pitched blades. Now I'm pretty sure this one's going to be more powerful. I mean, just look at the blade pitch on this thing. So let's go to low. These have a very nice quiet low speed to them. And it's moving a lot of air already. Medium. This one does feel stronger. And high. This one is extremely powerful, and the interesting thing is uh, the airflow is kind of diffused, so if you move more to the side, you get stronger airflow. Yeah, these old old ones are excellent. But these are no slouch either. Of course this is you know sturdier, but it's just the way it was back then. Alright now, how does the first generation Lakewood HV18 with the 4 amp General Electric motor compare? I have a feeling this one's going to be the winner. Let's start up on low. Let it come up to speed. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. But the thing with this fan is the airflow is kind of diffused. It goes more out to the sides. Yeah, this is insanely powerful. Let's just go straight up the high. Very, very powerful. Like I said, it's kind of diffused. And as far as these concer are concerned, actually did better than I thought they would. Obviously the older ones are more powerful, and the Air King 9218, which I don't think they're making anymore, I got one of those, that's more powerful, but uh, these are these are pretty good. There are some really, really cheap, crappy ones on the market nowadays that are just horrible. They don't move any air at all. But these, these are pretty decent. They, they move a good amount of air, and they're not very loud. And before I end the video, I just want to show you how much power this thing draws coming up to speed.